She wanted to be America's next top model, but one of the next headshots, this shocking mugshot. And the former singer celebrity now faces some serious charges. Today, the judge handed down a sentence to keep Cox behind bars for 70 years. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Natina Jerome for Talent Recap, and welcome to my very first What's Hot video. Leave your comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But let's get right to it. You want to know what's hot? I'll tell you what's hot. The seven talent show contestants that famously ended up in prison. That's what's hot. Okay, but before we dive right in, I'm genuinely curious. Which reality competition series do you think has a track record and tendency to produce the most contestants that end up in the slammer? First up, Danny Tetley. In 2018, 40-year-old Danny Tetley reached the semi-finals of the hit British music competition series, The X Factor. How are you? Good. Looking gorgeous. Good. Hey. Thank you. But his fame was short-lived because Tetley is now serving a prison sentence for exploiting seven teenage boys between the ages of 14 and 16, as well as two counts related to the distribution of indecent images. Wow. Danny, that's exactly what needed to happen. I asked you for a moment and you gave me a moment. That was amazing. According to the judge, Telly used his X Factor fame to exploit and groom these young boys by targeting teens at show related events. He was handed an extended sentence of 17 years, nine of which he would serve behind bars. However, that sentence was slashed in October 2020 to 14 years following a successful appeal. Life's too short. Life's too short. Live every day with a smile on your face. Next on deck is Philip Blackwell. Blackwell competed on season five of the British series The X Factor in 2008. He didn't win his series, but he still went on to tour with the live show in 2009. It was 10 years later that 56-year-old Blackwell pleaded guilty to rape, attempted rape, indecent assault, assault by penetration, voyeurism, and false imprisonment over a period of 22 years that spanned way before his appearance on The X Factor and through his capture in 2019. serial rapist admitted to 31 sex offenses and received 17 life sentences to run concurrently, with the possibility of a parole review after serving nine years. From headshot to mugshot, next up is Renee Alway. Renee Alway appeared on Cycle 8 of America's Next Top Model way back in 2007, and she ended up placing third in the competition. And my mentality in this is, they can win all the little battles. I'm going to win this war. I don't feel like it was anything I did that, that got me eliminated. I feel like it was, you know, the, the judge's opinion of how, how I looked. I remember being a wee middle schooler myself with these modeling dreams and watching Renee, and I absolutely loved her on the show. But I was definitely devastated when I heard that in September 2019, she was arrested for domestic violence just a year after she was released from prison for good behavior. And this was already after serving five years of a 12-year prison sentence in California. I couldn't get past the reality TV stigma that had been put on me. And then there's the pressure of the fans, you know, where are you? What happened? It's almost like a setup for failure. Well, I guess that didn't last long because according to her inmate profile, Renee was booked on a slew of charges, including assault with a deadly weapon, and of course, a violation of parole, among others. Once you're on that downward spiral, it's... it's nearly impossible to stop. Never not one for theatrics. Renee received her latest headshot in the local jail and showed off her new fierce look in court. A shaved head. Next, Antonella Barba. A contestant on season six of American Idol, Antonella Barba finished in the top 16 in 2007. And I really liked her. Antonella, the journey ends for you tonight. More than a decade later, the former American Idol contestant was arrested in October 2018 for possessing and conspiring to distribute more than nearly two pounds of the opiate fentanyl in Virginia. In July 2019, she received a federal prison sentence of 45 months. 
The reason for her fall from grace? Well, according to her lawyers, she was simply devastated that she didn't perform better on American Idol. Personally, like to me, myself, it hurt, hurt me. Mm. But um, I mean, as far as, you know, my standing in the competition, I'm not in it anymore. Up next on the chopping block, Joshua Allen. Joshua Allen is a hip hop dancer who competed and won the fourth season of So You Think You Can Dance in 2008. You're the most exciting dancer I've seen today. Thank you. Joshua, <laughs> I just fell in love. <laughs> the winner of So You Think You Can Dance 2008 is Joshua. <laughs> Following his appearances in popular dance movies like Footloose and Step Up 3D, the dancer and actor was sentenced to a year in county jail after pleading no contest to domestic violence. This comes more than a year after he was reported to have attacked his ex-girlfriend previously. Following his release, he is expected to serve five years of probation and a year of domestic violence counseling and I wish him the absolute best on his endeavors. <laughs> Number six on our list, Brandon Cox. Brandon Cox was a contestant on American Idol in 2012 who made it to Hollywood. The former contestant was sentenced to 70 years in prison in April 2017. And for what you may ask? Well, Brandon was found guilty in January 2017 on possession of child pornography with over 200 indecent images discovered on his computer. We're talking about toddlers and um, sexual penetration, um, oral sex, and, and just hor the horrific nature of these photos and the quantity of these photos, I think is why um, the judge did impose the sentence. Last, but definitely not least, moving on to a The Voice favorite is Lucas Holiday. Lucas Holiday, also known as the infamous singing cashier who went viral on The Voice. My name is Lucas Holiday. I'm 26 years old and I'm from uh, Lansing, Michigan. Was arrested in December 2017 and charged in January 2018 with the possession of the drug Adderall, which isn't a felony. But I'm not sure if he actually did any time though. So if you have an update, please drop it in the comments below. Where is the person who was singing? I saw it? somebody gotta be standing behind you. Uh -huh. Why is Frazier standing on the stage all of a sudden? So did any of these cases surprise you? And please let me know if there's anyone I missed. I hope you enjoyed my first What's Hot video and please once again, drop some feedback in the comments below. Follow me at Gina Juju on Instagram and at Najina underscore J on Twitter. I'm Najina for Talent Recap and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.